guys, um, I'm back with a new video and this one is about magic wands and do you really need one? Um, tools in general. Um, I think this goes for everybody who works with tools, we all work with tools. Uh, tools are meant to make our life um, easier. Um, and sometimes uh, we overcomplicate things. So, do we really need one? I don't think we need a wand. Uh, I have been practicing witchcraft for years without having using a wand. I had some uh, beautiful um, divine creations, uh, extremely expensive, and I couldn't. Um, I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> Again, same thing with the ethne um, I did in a previous video. Um, I can't work with what items. I have to either find them in a charity shop uh, or uh, find them in a forest and um, make them myself. So um, I was thinking uh, I'm a 45 year old witch and I really need to use a wand so I found this stick perfect size length um, I found it I polished it I decorated it by wrapping silk purple silk ribbon around it um, and I love it um, but it's again I enjoyed making this wand so much um, but that was I think a month ago and I'm still not working with it but then um, I did a little bit of magic uh, gravitated towards this stick and it's almost a Harry Potter kind of wand shame it's a little bit uh, bent like this uh, it would have been perfect if it were straight but um, this is fun too um, still have to polish it uh, paint it um, decorate it but as you can see uh, the tip is nice the top is nice um, but I am a 45 year old witch and I never worked with a wand I always used Silly things like um, a cinnamon stick. <laughs> uh, I think every witch and a lot of other people who are normal <laughs> have cinnamon in their home. And uh, this is to help me quit smoking. But I can also use it as a tiny wand. I can just stick it in my pocket, take it with me and it works. Um, I don't know why this doesn't work even though I love it and I've made it myself and this one works. <laughs> Sometimes it cracks or breaks and then I just go into the kitchen, take a new one and uh, I'm fine. Um, another thing is if you are going to um, out in the world explore uh, using uh, for example public transportation, uh, it looks a bit looks really stupid if you are fooling around with something like this um, which sisters and brothers will recognize it but um, I think other people will look a little bit uh, confused uh, when you see somebody doing things with it um, if you are using uh, if you're using um, a train or are you if you are on a bus this is much easier it's a popsicle lollipop chupa chup and it tastes good it keeps you busy uh, it keeps you from uh, looking at your facebook status uh, all the time and you can work some magic while you are traveling um, another thing is if you are a kitchen witch this is <laughs> so much more um, practical and uh, easy to use. You can stir your soup or your meat or whatever with it and do magic at the same time. This is it and um, if you are going out in the dark and um, it's 
not really a good idea to uh, walk around there in a forest sky clad and um, using a staff or a magic wand uh, it's much more practical to use something like this you can either hit somebody on the head with it or it's a simple flashlight and how cool is this to direct energy um, the thing is that's it I am um, tools are here to make our lives easier and if they don't make your life easier and they don't really um, make your magic powers work better or become stronger then it's a total waste of time to wave around a magic wand um, but it's fun to have one and um, a remote control is another thing uh, perfect to direct energy um, so if you want to replace a wand the alternatives are your finger uh, a cinnamon stick a lollipop, a wooden spoon, or a flashlight, and um, I did want to say something else, um, but I forgot. Um, very important thing. Um, I use my finger a lot when I don't have a popsicle or lollipop or a cinnamon stick. <coughs> Use your eyes, your fingers, and your whole hands if you want to, um, because real magic is here, is in here, and your focus is here too. And if you want to direct energy, uh, using your eyes is uh, the best option. So um, don't get me wrong, but I think these uh, are beginners' tools. If you don't know how to direct energy um, to a certain person, a place, uh, your subject, um, your target. If you don't know how to, if you have trouble concentrating or, you're, or you don't know how to focus or direct energy, this is perfect to start with. But if you are practicing witchcraft uh, a bit longer, I think you will notice that the desire to use a wand will sort of fade, disappear, uh, because working without tools is uh, much easier, uh, because you don't have to gather all your witchy stuff, uh, build an old altar, uh, uh, making a circle, casting a circle, uh, stuff like that. So. Um, I hope you don't get mad at me, but um, I think um, wands are fun, but um, these things work just as well. Um, and it's my goal to um, start working with my eyes again, get things organized in here so I can direct my energy with my eyes, uh, with my third eye, my mind. Uh, get my mind working uh, and get rid of all my tools again until I feel the desire to do some crafting, having fun, um, being creative and intuitive then I will probably pop up with something uh, new again and get rid of them again um, but for now um, this one is perfect to take with me uh, when I'm walking my dog in the dark um, my son gave this one, um, I was out of lollipops, so he bought me a new one, very happy with it. Um, cinnamon sticks, always in the kitchen, uh, wooden spoons, always in the kitchen, and this one, I love it. <laughs> I hope you like it too. Um, six hours of work, I think. Um, not uh, the search. Um, uh, involved um, but um, I will finish this beautiful Harry Potter kind of thing and show it to you maybe um, uh, maybe I can get this one to work and grow uh, fell, fell in love with um, this that's it and bye